Hi, I'm Allison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for the beginner step by step in real time so you can follow along with me. And I have so many tips and tricks that I want to share with you. Um, and I'm always coming up with some new tips and new tricks that I can share with you and I'm always experimenting and practicing and trying out different things and if you have any tips or tricks that you use in your acrylic paintings why don't you leave a link, uh, leave a comment below and then we can uh, share them together and I can even probably mention your name if you have a really good uh, tip for us all and um, so in this video I'm going to show you some really great tips that you're going to love this is going to be a fun video today, so let's Always get started. Nice to have um, if you on hand, small, medium, large, you know, whatever you have there, okay, you know, three sizes of, of brushes, and this is the uh, one inch, and this one's a number eight, and I have smaller ones there, and I like to have those on hand. And if you can't find those bristle brushes, the one inch, I have this one here. I can send to you, and I'll just charge the shipping because I don't, I, you know, they're not. If you can find them at your uh, store, then That'll be great, but uh, I have them here. Some people said they couldn't find them. And then we have a um, palette knife. We'll have palette knives on hand. And we will have uh, flat synthetic chiseled edge brushes. These are really nice for getting into those sharp edges, okay? And this one here I have is um, an angular brush. This is really nice for mountain peaks, you know, um, flowers, all kinds of good stuff. So and have, have some nice liner brushes around. There we go. And they can be liner brushes, longer, you know, shorter. Have, like I said, three different sizes and you're set. And also with your, you can have a filbert brush. And if you have all these brushes on hand, you can do any painting, okay? And if you have to add or take away and you don't use the brush that you got out, just it, they're always there in case you need them. And, and same with the fan brush. three different sizes of fan brushes. So these brushes are great for flowers. You should have these on hand if there's any way possible. If you have these on hand, you'll be able to do flowers. I have an angular brush here. It's really nice. And it's chiseled edge. Chiseled edge is very important. And I have a round brush with a really pointy top. There we go. I may use that one, I may not. I, I use I love to have them on hand just in case I decide to pick it up. So when you're doing flowers, have these really nice filbert brushes. All these brushes that I'm showing you, you should have these on hand. And a smaller fil filbert brush. And there's another filbert brush that's a little tiny bit bigger, that much. I like to have two or three different size filberts. It's another angular brush. It's not quite as angular as the other one. And I have a small round brush, very skinny. And I have a long liner brush, or a rigger brush they call it also. And I have a flat brush, flat chiseled edge, okay? And these are synthetic. Synthetic brushes. You can also use nylon brushes. Um, anything that's uh, not bristle, okay? Bristle brushes are great for foliage and grass and punching and punching and pushing. So these are the best brushes for flowers. How about this beautiful big filbert brush? Look at that. Now you can get these in different sizes. This is a fairly big one, but it's not huge, but it's it's big. So also, I'm going to dip Just that in water. This. Now, if you take some yellow and you take some blue, where are you? There you are. Look at that beautiful dark green you're going to get. Isn't that gorgeous? Just look at that. Now you take that dark green and then you put some yellow in the edge. Let's see if we can get a, I don't know, let's see if we can get a nice leaf or something. So I'm just going, you can even use the tip of the brush, uh, the chisel edge, and just pull through and you get these really nice, you can use them for stems, right? And then when you get your stem, you can touch on the chisel edge and pull up. You get a really nice leaf. Touch, pull up, see? Just on the chisel edge, touch and pull up touch and pull up. Oh yes, I love giving tips and tricks. My tips and tricks videos. Yes, I do my best to... to ew, we wouldn't want that now, would we? 
Okay, so we know about these brushes. These are the flat chiseled edge brushes, so right? We got we our flat them. chiseled edge brush. I got green on here and, a, and I'm going to put a bit of yellow on the corner of that. And same thing, this, this chiseled edge brush makes really good stems, leaves. Just pull in towards there, pull in towards there, right? And touch and lift. I'm going to put some weight on there for now so you can see it. Right, so touch and lift. Touch. Some really lift. flowers. See? All kinds of things. I mean, especially for making flowers. A lot of people might... There's people that don't want to make flowers. They might want to make little grasses and things, you know? So chiseled edge brushes are the thing to use for grass. Even if you wanted to make some grass. You could pull up some nice stems, long grasses, see? Just make long grasses with the chiseled edge. We're brushes now, in the whole wide world, you, and like I said, I don't sell them, but I do if anybody wants them. If you can't find them, you should be able to look in your hardware store or paint store or whatever, and, and I'll sign them for you just for a little extra bonus, right? Because I'm not going to make any money. I just have to charge shipping. But if you want them and you can't find them anywhere else, I'll be glad to send them to you. I'm going to make some green paint. That's all. I just made some green by putting blue and yellow together. Blue and yellow. And I just tap. Something like your sponge, right? Then you get some of these nice... And then you can take a bit of maybe a little more yellow and tap on top of that and then pull up. Oh, these nice look yeah I showed you that in another video but look at it I mean it's amazing it's amazing I just love this I can't help it you know if I had it made for me then uh, it would have been perfect so I'm just putting some more color on there just to make some flowers watch look look at that and I mean that's so amazing. I love it. So that's that. And the only thing I have left is a palette knife. And we have fan brushes. And I showed you all those before. So you know how to use. So you know anything about the, the uh, palette knife is, is good for all kinds of things. You know, you can make flowers palette knife. You can put some paint down there and just see what kind of flowers you can get. Just touch. Touch. So you're getting some kind of, um, but it's, I find it a little too hard to work with like that. So I, I might use it for my water, making water lines. Just make a water line like that. Just pull it over on top of the water. Just put some paint on and make my water lines like that. I don't use uh, a and, uh, palette like that often. Brush. So here's what you do. You load up your fan brush on both sides. Make it nice and full of paint. And all you have to do is bring it up to your canvas and pick a spot that you want to start your trees. And you have it standing on a vertical chiseled edge. And all you do is tap in the trees. Tap, 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 tap again with the tapping. And you come up and down. And I'm only using black paint for now. And you come up and down as long as you get those really nice little tops see those tops up there you get those tops and you're going to have that's trees. it so you can see that you get some really nice textures you know and really nice little things going on there just by the push of a brush and um, so take your brushes have fun with them Experiment, see what happens, put two colors on your fingers and on your brushes and and use every brush you have. Just sit down someday and just just do what I just did today. Don't do a painting, just take your brushes and see what they'll do for you. Some of these brushes are great for clouds, for water, for mountains, for hills, for portraits, you know. Um, I'm hoping to do a portrait someday and I want to get a chance. But anyway, you guys, I hope you had fun and I hope you had fun with your brushes and your paints. And, and if you have any questions, just let me know and I will see you in the next video. Happy painting, everybody, from Alison Pryor.